I think as an agile coach, it's always important to build something that can scale upwards into your organization very quickly and very easily. And I think that's where Miro really shines. It creates that flexibility for me to really make it what I need it to be in every situation. If we are solutioning, if we're looking into new things that we want to build, it all starts off with the mural boards for me. As we go beyond the ideation stage and we start to get into who's doing what and clarifying scope and responsibilities, the mirror space is a great tool for that because it gets everyone talking in one space. I use Miro as a collaboration tool just to host our scrum routines, our refinement sessions, our planning sessions. We rely on the Miro integrations there. For sprint planning, some teams like to visualize the work that they're doing. So they pull in the JIRA tickets into the Miro board and then they're able to move it around over visuals and they're interacting and they're able to have it in one view to look at what is feasible for the next sprint. Agile coaching is efficient if you create a movement where people start adopting best practices and basically mastering the art of like running proper scrum events themselves. It's a lot about checking in on their ways of working and seeing where they might need some support in growing. So it's great to be able to jump between their mirror boards and kind of get a feel for what's happening. And you can often use that as like a starting point for a coaching conversation. The main question you always get from stakeholders is what's the impact that you're making? So we're using the mural board for looking at metrics and insights on our engineering processes. There's an integration with Looker dashboards linked up to our JIRA. So we're getting some deeper insights through Looker and we can put them in a mural board and leave comments and note trends. We're able to get live data to inform our conversations, but in a space where we can interact with it. And it allows you to scale those insights up and have a longer term overview of all the moving parts in your organization. Working with cross-cultural teams, when we put our ideas in one space and we're discussing, hey, do you really mean the same thing? Like, are we really on the same page here? It's easier because they can add in drawings, they can react, you can gauge tone. If it's a joke, they can add in a GIF. If it's something more serious, they can add in diagrams and drawings. So not only does it build the alignment around the work they're doing, but it also builds those personal connections and understanding. Every time you're doing that, you build a relationship that will echo along your journey together in a company. When I have a group of people that never used Miro before, I start off with very simple objects on the board, like the stickies that we're using or connectors. They see familiar objects, they can interact with them as expected, so they can actually join the conversation without learning a lot of new things. There's, I think, some of the most common facilitation ones like voting and timers. Those are just bread and butter. Talk track, that's really helping you to collaborate together. Another one that's been very popular with teams are the private stickies, because when they are ideating or sharing reflections, they truly get a representation of what is on people's minds. There's one uh, that's for me really a little hidden gem. Everything on your mirror boards, it allows you to also have emotional communication by attaching a heart or a smiley. You're not only talking business, you're also sharing emotion. I don't know of any other tool that can do this for you, host like a very different set of processes. Everything from trainings to workshops to coaching conversations. You're not bound or limited to certain things to use. And, that flexibility. That allows me to make it as complex or simple as I need it to be. Within a single solution. It changed everything.